of Richmond and Great Alternatives have been had have had a formal partnership since 2015. Great Alternatives is a nonprofit organization and licensed solar contractor. This program is funded through three main funding sources: the state's cap and trade fund, the State of California Energy Fund, and the City of Richmond's Environmental and Community Investment Agreement. The ECIA agreement is an agreement with the City of Richmond and Chevron, uh, which provides a which provides $90 million to the Richmond community over 10 years and includes investments in community programs, competitive community grants, community-based greenhouse gas reduction programs, and a photovoltaic solar farm. Partnership with Grid Alternatives is also an implementation of various plans in the city, including the Climate Action Plan, Health and All Policy Strategy, and the General Plan 2030 Energy and Climate Change Element. In the General Plan 2030, the uh, renewable, uh, one of the policies is for renewable energy to promote the generation, transmission, and use of a range of renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, and waste energy. One of the objectives of the Climate Action Plan is to increase use and generation of renewable energy, and a strategy is to increase local solar generation. In the Health and All Policies Strategy, there is a section for environmental health and justice. As climate change is expected to exacerbate health problems and cumulative stress by impacting heat, drought, fire, and weather conditions, as well as access to basic services, such as housing and healthcare, the city has developed the Climate Action Plan to ensure the Richmond community is, is prepared to address and adapt to the impacts of climate change and to con continue to build health equity through the reduction of GHD emissions. Since 2007, when our partnership began, we have, the grid has installed over 449 systems on Richmond homes in the city. With that, there's also almost $10 million in lifetime savings for residents and 18,195 tons of emissions prevented. The City of Richmond and Grid Alternatives have hosted eight workshops together over the years. To view more data about Grid Alternatives and the City of Richmond, you can visit transparentrichmond.org, the city's open data platform, and you can go to sustainability and health equity. And under renewable energy, you can find more information about the City of Richmond and Grid Alternatives partnership. So we also have additional energy resources that you can find on the city's website, richmondenvironment.org. You can see the different programs that are listed here. We also have a listserv to inform residents about environmental programs in the city. And you can sign up at the link seen here under e-news signups. You can also view progress on our city's climate action plan by visiting this link seen here bit.ly slash Richmond cap dashboard. With that, I'll hand it over to Martine and Ambessa and Juan to uh, start the Grid Alternatives presentation. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Martin Cortez, pronouns he, him. I'm an outreach coordinator here at Grid Alternatives Bay Area, and thank you again for tuning in to our presentation. So I'll be presenting in English with my colleague, Ambessa. Hello. And while our colleague, Juan, will be translating it in Spanish with the Spanish audio. Okay, for folks who are not watching this on Zoom, please feel free to text your questions to us through the number provided on the lower left, and we will address all the questions towards the end. So during this presentation, we're gonna address the following questions. So who Grid Alternatives is, how this program is funded, how solar works, how much you can save with our solar program, how you can qualify, how to apply, and any questions you have, we'll address them at the end. Okay, so let's get started. So who is Grid Alternatives? Grid Alternatives is America's largest nonprofit solar installer. 
and our mission is to build community power solutions to advance economic and environmental justice through renewable energy. What we envision is a transition to clean, renewable energy that includes everyone to make renewable energy technology accessible to underserved communities. That's the whole purpose of our solar program. Next, I wanna share a piece of one of GRID's videos that will capture some of the work that we do, okay? We hatched this crazy idea that we were going to install solar for low-income folks. In 2004, we did two installations the whole year. We thought we were a smashing success. And what happened after that was those two people told their cousin and their neighbor down the street and said, you know what, solar's for us too, we can get solar. And those 10 people that we twisted their arms into volunteering with us that first time, they told 10 people who told 10 people who told 10 people. As you saw in the video, our success is largely tied to a community effort. You know, the name of our program is Energy for All, and it works twofold. So it helps make solar accessible to families who need the energy savings the most. And at the same time, it provides hands-on solar install experience to all of our volunteers and our job trainings. And ultimately, what we strive for is our triple bottom line, people, planet, and employment, that's our motto here at GRID. So for people who wanna bring smiles and help reduce the energy costs of all our clients, for planet, we wanna help reduce pollution in our communities with solar technology and employment. We wanna help jumpstart folks into a meaningful career in the solar industry. And now a little bit of GRID install history with Mbessa. Thank you so much for that, Martin. So we have installed about 449 projects in the city of Richmond alone since 2007. And throughout the larger Bay Area, we've um, installed 1,894 projects and counting. See, these metrics right here, they reflect a combination of GRID's regional, national, and international impacts across all of our offices. You can see the number of households that we've served and people who received hand-on experience. And towards the bottom, just the equivalent of the impact that we have had on the planet. And this is at no cost to you. So I wonder, Martine, however is this funded? Yeah, so everybody's probably wondering, you know, like how do we get the funds to even do this, okay? And we will explain that right now. So GRID accesses many funding sources to cover the entire cost of the solar install for all of our clients. So as a nonprofit, we apply to grants that we may qualify for to support our mission. We use local funding, such as you might already know from the city of Richmond, right? They are a very big supporter of our cause. Also, Marin Clean Energy, better known as MCE. You've probably seen them on your pg e bill, right? They also contribute to our mission. Also, large donors often give to our cause with money. However, anyone can participate in our membership program to donate a dollar or two. Okay, you can actually sign up for this on our website and sign up to donate about every month, however often you would like to. Also, we have sponsored installs, and then we take advantage of federal tax credits for solar using something called third-party ownership, and state funds are available for solar installs using the DAXASH program. Okay, we're going to be talking about these last two in more detail next. So in more detail about the state funds, GRID administers a program for the state called Disadvantaged Communities single family solar homes or DAC slash for short because it's a bit of a mouthful okay which helps fund solar in our energy for all program so let's take a look at this map here and you know the areas in red are designated by the state as disadvantaged communities and that's because of many factors such as higher pollution 
and higher unemployment rates. If your home is within one of these red areas that you see, we can access these state funds to help pay for your solar project. And as you can see, most of Richmond is in red, including neighboring communities like San Pablo. Okay, it's no secret that Chevron is a very big polluter here in Richmond. Shivali mentioned the cap and trade program where Chevron pays a tax for polluting that goes into funding environmental programs like these to help you. Also, a portion of all of our PG&E bills go toward funding our program. So in a way, you're kind of already paying for it. Now to help pay for your solar, we also partner with another solar company called Sunrun. You know, unfortunately, the state funds that we mentioned and everything else as well is not enough on, on their own to be able to cover all of the costs for our clients. So as I mentioned before, there is a tax credit that's available for owning a solar system. And this tax credit can only be used to pay off taxes for the year that you purchase solar. So our status as a nonprofit organization prevents us from accessing that tax credit or pay for your solar system. Also, this tax credit will go to waste for our clients because if you are low income, then you may not owe taxes at the end of the year, okay? Sunrun, on the other hand, is a company that does owe taxes and they can actually access that tax credit on our behalf if they own the system. So by having Sunrun own the system on your house, we're able to take advantage of these federal tax credits allowing us to stretch our dollars even further to serve more families annually. Sunrun does provide many benefits for your solar system like insurance, 24 seven monitoring, no cost maintenance, no cost repairs, a 90 per 90% performance guarantee and more for 25 years, right? And grid prepays the whole thing. So I'm best at just to recap, will the client own the solar system? No. As Martine said, you will not own the solar system. It's a third party ownership. But what you do own are the benefits of solar. And how that works is grid will install and prepays for 25 years of power on the behalf of your system to Sunrun. So think of it like a prepaid lease. You will own all the energy the system produces and receive free insurance and warranties and 24 hour monitoring and more. Sunrun will maintain the system and make sure it keeps operating for 25 years at no cost to you. Okay, so now we're gonna go over how solar even works in the first place, okay? And I love this picture because it puts everything nice and simple. So you got your solar panels on the roof, they collect sunlight, and then that energy goes to this inverter box. This inverter box, converts that solar energy the panels were collecting into electricity to power your entire home, okay? So it goes directly to your TV, your lights, your washer, your toaster, everything electrical that's plugged in, okay? Your solar production also depends on the time of day and the weather. So a clear sunny day is the most ideal thing for solar. That's when the panels will produce the most. When it's cloudy or rainy, the panels will produce less because the clouds are blocking the sun, but they're still producing energy. And at nighttime, you won't produce anything because there's no sun, right? Your system will ultimately be designed to save 60 to 90% of your current annual electric bill. So theoretically, you will still be buying some of the electricity from PG&E. So for example, if you get a 90% coverage estimate, then you will still need to buy the other 10%. During those times when the system isn't able to produce all the energy your home needs, you're gonna be buying electricity from PG&E like you do now, right? That's why you're still connected to the power lines. However, during the time you produce more solar energy than what your home needs, you'll be selling it back to PG&E in the form of credits, right? And that's part of how you're able to save with solar. And that's what's known as net metering or NEM for short. So the more energy you produce and not use, 
the more credits you will have to use to pay off any electric electricity costs that you might have. The way your bill is modified as well. Okay, so instead of being charged monthly, you're going to be charged annually. Essentially, the bill is how much solar you produce minus how much electricity you buy. Okay, the difference between those two is how much you'll owe to PG&E at the end of the year. And part of the reason you're charged annually is because your solar production looks different depending on the season. Okay, so just as an example, as you can see in this chart, your electrical expenses may be higher in the winter months because the weather is gloomier, more cloudy, the days are shorter. However, during the summer months, like June, as you start approaching those months, there are sunnier days and the days are much longer too, right? Usually there's still sunlight after 9 p.m. And the idea is that you'll produce so much during this time that you can actually offset some of your electrical expenses from the other months with your credits. Another thing that's gonna be modified after you go solar is you're gonna have a new rate with PG&E called time of use, okay? That's what TOU stands for. And what this means is electricity will be more expensive from 4 to 9 p.m., but it will be cheaper outside of those hours. pg and is doing this because typically 4 to 9 p.m. is when there's a higher demand for electricity. That's when everybody's trying to pull electricity. Businesses are still running and people are coming home from work and also kids are coming home from school. So this is their way to minimize the electric usage during those peak hours. Okay, and all pg and &E customers are going to be switched to this eventually, like I mentioned, right? It's a high demand on the grid. But the key thing to remember from this part is that, you know, just to have 4 to 9 p.m. in your mind, that it's more expensive, right? So using less electricity during these times, in the end, it's to your benefit for more savings. You can see a benefit from maybe running the washer and the dryer in the morning instead of 4 to 9 p.m or maybe even eventually buying more energy efficient appliances, such as, you know, those appliances that you see with the Energy Star logos, right? Those will definitely save you some money in case you do need to run things during 4 to 9 p.m., okay? Solar clients, you know, they're gonna get the new time of use rate the moment that their solar system gets turned on, okay? So, Mbessa, how much do clients stand to save when they go solar? Well, if you qualify for our program, you will stay from 60 to 90% off of your electricity bills from day one. As you can see from this chart right now, um, from the circle um, on the left, everything you pay goes to PG&E. Um, they're charging you for generating the electricity, the delivery of it, and other things like maintaining their power line. When you go solo with grid, you can see from the circle, a broken circle on the right, you're saving because you have panels generating free energy to you. And since it's already at your house, there's no delivery charge. Your bill won't go away. You'll still have your monthly gas bill and charges for the electricity you buy. But it's but because part of your electricity will be covered by solar, it's going to yield a 60 to 90% savings. And the cost of this to you is zero. It's a no cost system. You don't need to have a certain credit score. There are no payments, no lien will be taken out on your property or anything. And there are no hidden costs. It's for all the clients that qualify. Now, how do they qualify? Yeah, so we'll go over that right now. Okay, so all the qualifications are here on the slide. To participate in the program, you have to meet these requirements. So at the own and live in the home, you know, renting someone else's home and trying to apply for the, for the system won't work. You have to meet below these income limits here on this chart. So for example, a family of four needs their total household income to be below $66,250. So specifically, we look at 
line nine of your 2020 1040 form, that's where it says total income. You need to use enough electricity in your home for the program. And you need to have a solar appropriate roof, which means that the age of the roof needs to be at least, you know, has, has to have at least 10 more years of life on it. And there cannot be shading where the solar panels will go. Ultimately, shading is bad for a solar system's production, okay? And the city of Richmond also provides some funds for the re-roof projects that meet other requirements. But if you meet the requirements here on this slide, then the program should be no cost to you. Okay, as I mentioned, the city of Richmond does provide some funding of up to $15,000 for re-roofs within Richmond city limits. So this funding is only available for folks who are qualified for our solar program and they need the re-roof to support the solar panels, okay? And it's also on a first come first serve basis. So we encourage you to contact us ASAP to see if you qualify. And now Ambessa will take it away with some info about our clean mobility opportunities. Yes, our clean mobility program is indeed an exciting program. Let me tell you all about it. So part of the program includes um, um, our Richmond electric vehicle and charging program. We, we, we partner with the city of Richmond with some clean mobility service. And in it, qualifying residents can receive a charger for an electric car if they already have one, or if you're planning to get an EV in the future. Um, if this is the case for you, we ask that you please let us know that you're interested in the clean mobility program. Because um, we also, and we also have, I'm sorry, um, an EV home readiness project. And what that looks like is upgrading your outlet from a standard 120 volt to 240 volts or higher for higher power. We also can run conduit outside to your driver location. So it's re right there ready for future electrical wiring. Further, these programs are available these programs are available independently of solar, but the thing is you want to, the, the idea is having, the ideal scenario is having both, like you have an electric vehicle and you're able to charge it at home with the solar technology that we install. And if you know that you want to get an EV while we're designing your solar system, we can sometimes increase the system size to cover the cost for charging your car at home. So it's a pretty sweet deal because gasoline for your car is expensive and we see how much gas is um, going up. So this combination just leads to bigger savings. And the process is coming up next. Thank you, Mbessa. You know, double the savings is always a good idea. And now we're gonna go over the whole process to get solar. Okay, so the timeline varies case by case depending on client response time, document collection, and just scheduling things such as inspections with uh, city inspectors. Okay, so here on the screen, uh, four months is probably a good timeline. Uh, that's usually around how long it takes. However, your application is gonna be good for up to 12 months after it's approved. So residents will be assigned an outreach coordinator to be there every step of the way, such as myself. Um, and we're going to be helping you with all the paperwork. We're conscious about the pandemic and every one of these steps can be done without physical contact, okay? Uh, you know, over the phone or through Zoom, such as like this, or through mail. We can also help you in person on a case-by-case -case basis to accommodate, you know, individual needs. So first step is an application, right? Apply fill out the paperwork. Again, we'll be there to help you for that portion as long as the rest. Once it gets submitted it went, and it gets approved, next comes the construction site visit. So this is where our design team will go to your house and you know do a roof assessment, take measurements, check your electrical box, all that to make sure that your home is good to go for solar. Okay, so if it is good and after they finish their design, next we'll move to the contract phase. So again, this part can be done 
either through Zoom or in person. Just depends on individual cases. We have uh, safety precautions in place for that as well with the pandemic. And uh, the goal is to explain the whole contract, make sure you understand everything before you sign. Okay, once you do sign and it gets turned in, then we will call you up to confirm an install date. So these install days will be around your schedule, whenever is best for you. Okay, typically they can take around one to two days, depending on the size of the solar system and also just the difficulty of the roof, right? Steeper roofs can be a little more difficult. So it might take a little longer to actually install. Okay, and once it's installed, then we move on to inspection. So uh, within about two weeks of the actual install, we'll schedule an inspection with the city and with PG&E. And then they're gonna be taking a look, see if the install was done correctly. If they clear it, then we will apply with PG&E to turn on the system. Okay, once they give that green light, they actually turn it on remotely and then your system is on, we'll call you to let you know. And then from that moment forward, you start saving, okay? Oh, now let's talk next steps, okay? So you can actually set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with grid staff. Grid staff speak English, Spanish, and Cantonese, but we also have an interpreter service that uh, you know allows us to communicate with folks who speak all kinds of languages. Okay, you can call us at this number, 866-921-4696, or you can go to this link and you can also sign up online. Okay, if you're interested in clean mobility, you can contact you know, the team for a consultation at this number here, or you can shoot them an email and they'll get back to you that way. And then also, I know some of you are here you know, watching this grid workshop, if you have a family, a friend or a neighbor who was not able to attend, you know, please, please, please go out and share, spread the word, you know, if you do, and, you know, one of your friends or family members ends up applying, they qualify and they get installed, then we'll give you a pretty sweet bonus of $200 just for spreading the word, right? They just got to mention that they heard about the program from you. And thank you again, everybody, for tuning in with us so far. That's it for me for this presentation and best as well. So now we're going to move on to our Q&A section. So this is definitely very, very important. This is, a, this is a program where I think the first step would be for you to apply. Uh, you would call this number below, and we would set you up with a coordinator, like, like we mentioned. Um, if you qualify and meet all the pre-qualifications, then we would go ahead and uh, do a site visit. Just make sure that your home is eligible for this program. And if there's any funds available, then we would use those funds to uh, get an estimate. And once we have an estimate, we would uh, just work it out with you. Um, but the most important step before we do anything is for you to uh, go ahead and apply with us before we can move forward. Okay, uh, so I think another question is how, oh, oh let me translate it, sorry. So, uh, si usted tiene un techo que no es adecuado, lo más importante es, es aplicar para el programa primero. Antes de que lo podamos poner en la lista de espera para el techo, tiene que aplicar para el programa. Si tiene todos los requisitos y su aplicación es aprobada, entonces el equipo de construcción va a su casa a verificar que su techo y tal otras cosas sean buenos para este programa. Entonces usted ya lo podemos poner en la lista de espera para el techo. So otra pregunta, another question. How has your install changed since the pandemic? Does it take longer? Do you have only installs during certain times of the year? Okay, so this question. So esta pregunta es ¿Cómo ha cambiado su instalación en la pandemia? ¿Tarda más tiempo o nomás instalan en algunos tiempos del año? 
So I think this question is a great question. Uh, we have had to in, uh, kind of alter our installation process. Um, we feel very confident about doing everything really safe and making sure that we don't put ourselves nor anyone in jeopardy. Uh, in most cases, we can do everything digitally for the installation portion. Um, we wouldn't have no interaction with you. We would just have our construction staff uh, do their thing. If they do need to come to your house, we would coordinate with you or with your family member. Um, and in most cases, the current wait time from an installation to applications is a little longer than two months, which is pretty normal. Um, and we are really busy during this time of the year. So this is when we try to get most of our installs. Uh, during the winter time, as long as it doesn't rain and it's safe, we would go out and install as well. So nosotros hacemos a instalaciones todo el año, uh, no más cuando no yo cuando no no llueve, eso es lo importante para nosotros para mantenernos seguros. En la pandemia estamos asegurados que podemos hacer todo este proceso uh, y estar seguros que no ponerlos en 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 peligro a usted o a nosotros con la pandemia podemos hacer mosto, la mayoría de este trabajo digitalmente para la instalación nuestro grupo de construcción no necesita a uh, estar con usted, lo, ellos lo hacen uh, individualmente y usted no tiene que preocuparse. Uh, en el verano es cuando hacemos más instalaciones porque hay más sol y hay menos lluvia. Ok, let's see another question. Another question is, what happens after 25 years? What if I decide to sell my home before the 25 years? So otra pregunta es, uh, uh, ¿Qué va a pasar después de 25 años? ¿Qué va a pasar si, de, si, si empiezo a vender mi casa? So for these questions, um, after 25 years, you have no obligations to keep the system on your home. Uh, we recommend that at that point you tell Sunrun that our agreement is over since we as a grid prepaid for you for 25 years. At the end, we suggest that you just tell them that you do not want the solar panels anymore. And by in the contract, it says uh, Sunrun goes out there, takes the panels off, repairs your roof like nothing had happened. Uh, if you did want to sell your home in the meantime, the only thing you would have to do is just let Sunrun know that you're selling your home and you're transferring the ownership or the you're transferring the, the home ownership to somebody else, right? So the new homeowner would take on the rest of the, of the lease. And yeah, this is all no cost. There's no lien on your house. There's nothing uh, that would prevent you from selling your, your home or anything like that. So esta pregunta es, si vendo mi casa antes de los 25 años, ¿qué pasa? So si quiere vender su casa antes de los 25 años, no hay problema. Uh, nomás tiene que avisar a la compañía Sunrun que va a vender sus, uh, su casa. Entonces, lo que ellos hacen es nomás uh, cambian el resto del contrato a la persona que va a vivir después de usted. Uh, no hay pagos, no hay ningún una cosa que usted tenga que preocuparse. Uh, normalmente lo único que tarda nomás es como una semana o dos para que le informen. Entonces todos los beneficios de su sistema se les va a pasar al próximo dueño. Um, I think it says here, asking Cecilia's question again. I think it went away. Van a grabar esta información para uh, revisarla nuevamente y ver si me convence el programa. So I think the question is, are we going to record this information and see if I can apply for this program? So Cecilia, sí, vamos a tener este programa, uh, lo vamos a tener listo para que usted lo pueda ver en una semana. Uh, también vamos a tener otra uh, contradicción. Um, y en cualquier momento, el, el número que tenemos abajo uh, puede llamar en cualquier tiempo o si no, si no nos puede llamar directamente um, al 510-731-1308. Uh, si, si se convence y si tiene preguntas, nos puede llamar. So this question was, will this be recorded and will I have a chance to view it later so I can see if I will apply to this program? So yes, this program will be recorded. It will be available within one week. Um, it will have the translation and, and captions on this, and we will upload it to the City of Richmond website. Um, if you have any other questions or have you know, any concerns about the program, please feel free to call us and we will walk you through any questions that you have.
let me look at the chat box and see. So here's another question is, I live in San Pablo, but I was told my home was not covered by grid. What part of San Pablo is covered and what part of San Pablo is not covered? So este pregunta es, uh, vivo en San Pablo, me, dijeron, me dijeron que la área donde yo vivo no es parte de la área que grid ayuda. ¿Qué parte de San Pablo es cubrida y cuáles son cuáles no están en la área? Yeah, so this is a good question. Uh, so we use a map called uh, the Daxash map or Cal and Bioscreen. And there are certain portions that I could, I could, we could probably uh, copy the link and insert it here if you have any questions. Um, we use this one to just make sure that, you know, uh, Basically, the state tells us where and where we can't work. So I will include it in the chat. Um, it's a map. There's a little function where you can enter your address, and it will tell you exactly uh, where we, we can and cannot serve you. Uh, I think I sent it to all of the participants. Yes. Okay. So esta pregunta es uh, otra vez sobre el área que califican. Aquí vamos a enseñar el mapa. Uh, también lo puse en el chat box, si tiene preguntas, desafortunadamente nomás podemos trabajar en las áreas donde el estado de California nos dice que es adecuado. Uh, si tiene preguntas de las áreas de donde califican o no califican, este mapa puede meterle su dirección y le puede enseñar si califica o está en la área. So again, using the map on the chat box, you can enter any address because we work in the Bay Area, but we also work in other places in California. So hopefully that helps out. All right, let me check another one. How can we see the map that determines access? ¿Cómo puedo mirar el mapa que determina el programa? So lo apunté en el chat box abajo aquí uh, para mirar que ustedes, ustedes lo pueden mirar. OK, voy a mirar otras preguntas. I think there was a question, what if I didn't file taxes this year? Thank you, Shavali, thank you. So, otra pregunta es, ¿qué tal si no hice mis taxes este año? So, if you did not file taxes, there is a method that we could qualify you. Um, this is definitely um, a trickier question that we just need to verify that information. Uh, so, I would recommend if you didn't file taxes, there's still a way that we can qualify you for the program. But I would suggest uh, sitting down with one of our coordinators, Martin, uh, Catalina, or Carmen, and they will uh, kind of walk you through what kind of proof we need. Um, in some cases, we, we help people out without, you know, without them filing their taxes all the time. We just need to fill out the, the proper uh, documents to go through the program. So, si no hizo sus taxes este año, está bien, no hay problema. Uh, ayudamos a gente que no hace sus taxes todo el tiempo. Uh, en esta situación, yo recomendaría que se siente con uno de nuestros coordinadores, Martín, Carmen o Catalina, y ellos lo pueden uh, ayudar a mirar cuáles documentos tienen que promover para aplicar para el programa. Pero ayudamos a personas todo el tiempo que no llenan los taxes. So, esa no es una barrera para este programa. There was one question in the chat. Um, what is the feedback from Sunrun about the quality of installation since they have to cover the cost of maintenance? Um, okay, so esta pregunta es, ¿qué es lo que dice Sunrun sobre la calidad de la instalación si ellos tienen que cubrir el mantenimiento? Uh, so probably need a little bit more, uh, I'm not sure exactly the feedback from Sunrun. Um, I, think you, I think what you're trying to get at is if we use any technology or equipment that is uh, uh, subpar, all of our equipment is um, everything that meets the standards. Um, again, we partner with other companies that are leaders in the solar industry. And again, Sunrun is one of our partners that they go out and check to make sure that the quality of the work is um, done up to, up to par. And for the maintenance part, um, again, that's the great thing about Working with Sunrun is since they are one of the leaders, they have a bigger scope and they can 
they can see things that may be great alternatives and we're more into the just helping people through the process they can help you with any any other questions and in some cases if your panels aren't producing uh the 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 amount that we say that we're going to produce like an estimate again a lot of the times it's just an estimate um then sunrun would uh send you a money back if the panels weren't producing or if they stopped producing as much so otra vez uh sunrun es una de las de las cosas buenas de este modelo es que como sunrun es una organización solar más grande ellos tienen más recursos para ayudarle a, a mantener su sistema en veces si miramos que su sistema no está produciendo lo que tiene que producir, entonces uh, Sunrun puede monitorear y entonces si miran que su sistema no está produciendo igual, le puede mandar una porción o un cheque que le que les va a, a pagar a usted por la porción que su sistema no está produciendo por si empiezan a fallar. I, I hope I, I clarified that question, but um, if not, then you can feel free to ask again. Uh, otra pregunta, another question, will I still have a bill? Otra pregunta es, voy a tener una factura electricidad. So you will still have a bill. Uh, every single month, you would still get a PG&E bill. If you have gas, you would still get that monthly. Every month, you would get an estimate for the electrical portion. So there's not a situation where you would not have a bill. Um, the only difference is for the electrical portion, you only have to pay that once a year. So one year after it has been connected and, and made live, then that's when you would have to pay the electric that your, your panels are not producing. Uh, so otra vez, uh, no hay ninguna situación donde no va a tener una fractura. Cada mes va a tener una fractura de su gas, va a tener una fractura de PG&E por mandarle usar sus líneas. A cada mes va a tener un estimado de lo que sus paneles producieron y lo que usted usó. La única diferencia es que la porción de la electricidad nomás va a tener que pagarla una vez al año. So nosotros recomendamos que ponga ese dinero al lado para cuando llegue esa factura no esté sorprendido. Okay, one of the questions is, how often do I pay my electric bill? So una pregunta es, ¿qué frecuente hago mis pagos de electricidad? So la, el pago de electricidad es una vez al año. La factura de pg e es cada mes. Uh, se, se escucha medio con, confusing como es. Uh, a veces muchas personas están confundidas por este proceso. Es algo nuevo. Uh, lo que es, es cada mes va a tener una factura por usar las líneas de pg e También si tiene gas en su casa, que la mayoría de nosotros tenemos gas, va a recibir eso. Igualmente va a tener un estimado de la electricidad. La electricidad nomás la va a tener que pagar una vez al año, que se llama True Up. Eso es la diferencia de todo el año de los paneles que producieron, sus paneles producieron uh, y lo que usted usó. Uh, eso es, ese es, es el, 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 el True Up. Entonces, es lo que usted va a tener que pagar. Uh, como le dijimos, uh, si conserva electricidad, uh, va a ser 60 hasta 90% de lo que pagó el último año. So again, you only have to pay your electric bill once, which can seem a little confusing because every month you're still going to get a PG&E bill. The PG&E bill, like most of us here, we have gas. So you will have to still pay the gas. You'll have to pay the transmission lines. And you'll get an estimate of how much your panels produced and how much you used. And the electric portion, you only have to pay once a year. Um, it can be a little confusing, and it's a new system. Um, and again, if you have any other questions, we can we can talk more in depth. Um, just know that we size your system so you can save 60 to 90 percent on what you would normally have to pay in a year. Uh, I think there's another question. Podría calificar si mi ingresos de los impuestos de 2020 están arriba de las cal calificaciones, pero mi ingreso actual se me Califica porque ya me retiré. Uh, so I think this question has to do with uh, your taxes in 2020. And if I don't qualify for taxes in 2020, uh, but my income this year does allow me to qualify because I retired. Uh, so that's a good question. Um, I would say if you have a, a situation where people, people tend to auto disqualify themselves for this program, um, 
we always recommend that if you're on that cusp or if you think that you might qualify, just uh, sit down, call us with us, or you know, not sit down during during this time, but you can call us and we can talk through this and and we can see because again, uh, we wouldn't want you to auto disqualify yourselves because in some situations uh, we might be able to help you out. So in esta situación. Um, Como es, tiene más detalles, mi recomenda, mi, yo recomiendo que nos llame y nos, si se siente con nosotros, o que no se siente porque es la, la pandemia, pero que nos llame y así podemos platicar con usted sobre su situación. En muchas veces personas se descalifican ellos mismos uh, y no queremos que usted se descalifique. So, si tiene preguntas sobre su ingreso, yo recomendaría que nos llame a nosotros y entonces nosotros lo podemos um, guiar y, y, y saber si definitivamente califica o no califica para este programa uh, y especialmente si está retirado muchas personas que entran a nuestro programa son, son personas que se acaban de retirar uh, so otra pregunta es another question is, do I need to have solar with grid I'm not sure what that means but uh, you can have solar with anybody. I would always say, look at the California State Licensing Board. Uh, there is a solar consumer guide. And in that consumer guide, actually, grid is the only one that can give you no cost solar. Anybody else that tells you that they're gonna give you no cost solar is lying to you. Um, it will be financed or done through other things. Uh, so esta pregunta es, uh, tengo que recibir uh, solar con grid uh, y no, eso es, depende de usted. Um, usted puede ir con otras compañías. Nomás quiero clarificar que hay un, hay un papel uh, que el Estado produció para proteger a los consumidores, consumidores de los paneles solares. Y en ese papel, cualquier persona que le vende solar uh, le está mintiendo si no dice que no hay costo. Ahí en ese documento dice que Great Alternatives es la única organización que le puede dar los paneles sin costo. Cualquier otra compañía que les diga eso les está mintiendo. Uh, otra pregunta es sobre la referencia. So, si usted por cualquier razón uh, le interesa nuestro programa pero no puede recibir, pero tal vez su vecino recibe, nosotros le podemos ayudar con los 200 dólares. No tiene que estar instalado su sistema solar con grid uh, para recibir la ayuda de referencia. So you do not have to have solar with grid to receive the $200 bonus. Uh, if you are interested in, and for some reason you can't move forward, but say your neighbor, you refer your neighbor or you tell your neighbor about it and then they go through our program and they get installed, then you would be eligible for the $200. Um, there are situations where we have other referrals and stuff and you do have to be a, a great client, but for the $200 referral, you do not have to be. Hay unas situaciones donde tenemos pro, diferentes promociones uh, que le podemos ayudar con más dinero por darnos referencias. Uh, en esas situaciones, tal vez tenga que tener uh, paneles con grid, pero para los 200 dólares, ese lo puede hacer cualquier persona en, en cualquier tiempo. Uh, lo único que es, es que la otra persona que refiera sean instalados por grid. You can learn more about the program by calling this number on the screen, 866-921-4696. And you can also visit richmondenvironment.org for all of the other programs that Richmond offers. So, muchas gracias a todos. Thank you very much. And please uh, don't be shy and you can give us a call. It doesn't matter.